Good day again everybody, this is Nelka and another request or another message from our friend. His name is Mr. Sohael or Sohail Malik and this is all about road lighting design. Um, he said he has a project, he is electrical engineer, he is designing a road lighting for a highway. This is 13 meters wide road and he's using a 12 meter high poles and uh, it has 1.5 meter arm and it should have 180 watt LED warm white. Okay, specifically mentioned warm white. Okay, so uh, let's go and help Mr. So Sohael Malik to create his road lighting design calculation actually can i just call you malik because sohail is difficult for me to m mention properly so can just um so malik i um you can do it either by dialax regular or um dialax evo so um for now let's go and use dialax evo but if you want to do it also in regular just let me know so i can do it for you just a warning everybody I am not here to do your job so please these are just basic so if you're working with uh, with your project please don't ask me to do your project because it's not good <laughs> I also have my own um, work and you should do your own work I will just help you and guide you to do that but uh, please don't be so Thick face to ask me to do your job because it's not proper I mean I can help you but not to do it all for you all right so okay but for this one Malik or okay I, I understand that you are a beginner so I will help you on this one so you said you have a 13 ma uh, meter wide road for a road lighting it is usually one lane is like uh, three 3 meters or 3.5 meters so let's say you will have two lanes because you did not give me the um, drawing of your road so I will just assume that you have either a median or a four lane uh, road in one carriage way okay I will just explain it to you so this one is a two lane road and if I put a median on this one at the median so you can see now do you want me to go to the plan view or here in the 3d view okay let's just put it up uh, no I said up 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 first up preview up 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 okay now see I put one median and I will add another one road here go to this side so now you will have uh, two roadway you can do it up uh, two directions one is going here and then going down and if you go to the plan view and let's measure if it's 13 meters so it is now 14.76 or okay we can just change the width of this road uh, let's go and select this one now this is are you sure you have 13 meters okay because it's um, okay maybe it's um uh, ah all right I remember you said it's a highway so there will be no roadway anymore and there's no median and you will have only four lanes I'm sure okay so you will have four lanes yeah and the width of the road is 13 meters so let's make it 30 meters so let's go to the top view and measure it all right this is now 13 meters uh, okay wide and you will use 12 12 meter high pole okay so now you have your 13 meters wide road um, and you said you need a 180 watt uh, LED street light so um, for a while let's put a little emergency lane because in the highway it should have an emergency lane and um, make it three meters height and then let's create a pathway so we will know uh, at least we have a guide 
on uh, where to put our, our our poles. So let's have the path walk or the sidewalk to which should be 3 meters because it's a major highway and the height is let's make it 0.2. Alright, so uh, now we, we establish now our road, the 13 meter wide uh, road and then I put an emergency lane and then the path walk which is also 3 meters. So now we will select our fitting. He mentioned that he's, he don't know where to get the ice file. So I will just propose from thorn lighting our uh, street lights. So let's just go to the website, go to the outdoor tab, and then select uh, the road lighting. And you can go to the filter and you will say if you want LED, click the LED. And then the power consumption is 180 watts. So let's select this 180. And then we will have our R2L2 fitting. This is our best seller LED fitting for street lighting. So you mentioned that you will have that you have a 13 meter wide 13 meter wide road and a 1.5 uh, bracket for the pole. So I assume that we can go for a wide street optic or wide road optic or extra wide okay let's go for the uh, wide road optic and select uh, you said you want you you want a um, what's this color warm white so it's a little uh, yellowish color so let's go for no it's these are all 4000 Kelvin Okay, for now, I can only give the 4000 Kelvin. It's a, a, it's a daylight white. It's not a warm white. So, okay, just for the calculation purposes, I don't think we have warm white here. Sorry for that. Okay, so um, let's, let's go and use this one. Uh, click this uh, dialogue tab here. And then here and then say open and once you click to open it will go directly to our dialux software or dialux file let's go to the top view and say no and then just drag and drop and your fitting will be there exactly uh, all right this is located on the other side of the road so let's put our pole on the oh, on the path walk so let's do it on the other side uh, this one okay okay we need to play now how to place the pole properly on the street okay so it's zero from the roadway now let's make it 3.5 Okay, I think it's negative 0.5. The emergency lane is 3 meters, so this is negative 1.5. There you go. Okay, very good. Now this is 1.5. So now we establish the location of the pole, which is 0.5 from the gutter, and the offset and the arm length is 1.5 meters long. I created a tilt of five degrees and let's see if um, I did not check the pole spacing yet because I ch I, ch I checked the optimize so let's go in and check this one and let's calculate so right now I use 15 meters and then we will play now with the result Okay, we don't need to have a valuation field for a uh, sidewalk. So let's close this one. And emergency lane, let's just close this one because it's not part of his requirement. So for now, I can see that all are green and all are check. But let's maximize the pool spacing because the pool is very expensive. So let's make it, let's say, 30 meters. And still, it's check. My God, wow. Look at that. You can see that all are still checked. Can be maximized if to 35 meter pole spacing. And it's all again checked. 
Okay, um, what's your name? Um, Malik, please note that our fitting is very efficient. So you cannot just replace it with other luminaire because it again depends on the optic and the efficiency of the fitting. So if you, if you found one luminaire from other manufacturer having the same optic and wattage and uh, performance, then it's okay. But you cannot just replace it as apple to apple because um, I'm not sure if we have the same uh, specification in the market. Okay, well, well maybe you can uh, choose, uh, you can specify thorn fittings and then just for your calculation purposes. And then let your contractor or your consultant look for an alternative. That's just my suggestion. Because this calculation is as, for, as per the thorn fittings R2L2. Okay, so I selected 35 meters spacing and still all are okay. Can we forward it to 40 meters? Now you can see now that the uh, lumen or candela per square meter is X or red. Uh, because the requirements is 0.75 and we only got 0.71 so it's wrong if we go for uh, for example 38 meter spacing it's still perfect now it's 75 um, Malik again I don't know what kind of road classification you have in your project she also did not mention that because if this project is really a very strict compliant project for road lighting then you need to know or identify what kind of road is uh, in your place or in this project we have different kinds of uh, road classifications which I think you really also need to understand that one for this default we selected um, um, C5 uh, this is for emergency valuation field no sorry this one roadway okay for this um, calculation I selected M4 so you can see that there are lots of um, uh, classifications here road classification they have uh, we have C0 up to C5 and then HS1 to HS3 and then M1 to M6 and P1 to P6 so you need to identify okay this uh, classifications if you want to know more of these classifications, you can either Google it or you can go for thorn lighting. Again, sorry for that. I keep on proposing our website, uh, but this is just your guidance. You can just you can still check it to other um, manufacturer or other standard. Okay, so you can see it here that uh, this. M2, M3 has different classifications and also different materials. The speed, the materials of the road, and the function of the road uh, is varies, and that is where that classification is all about. Okay, I'm struggling to get uh, the, the handbook from the online, so I get it from somewhere in my in my files so I'm not sure if this uh, handbook of ours is updated but you can see here that this um, the, the type of road the luminous requirements the threshold requirements and everything is here so for example CE this class is intended for users of motorized vehicles in in conflict areas such as road intersections runabouts so if there's a requirements like this and then you need to achieve those requirements and if it's S, A, E, S, E, V actually M is the most um, important one for example you have M, E, 1 so your um, lumen should be 2, two, two, can, two candela per square meter and the uniformity should be 0.4 and, and your um, um, uniformity and threshold increment and the SR is surround ratio you can see here the legend of this um, codes so for example we change our requirements into um, let's say M I what did I selected I selected M4 so it says that M4 is I have two yeah 0.75 and these are the requirements and you can see here that that 
requirements is really here. Yeah, 0 0.75, 0 0.4, blah, blah, blah. And if I change it into the most difficult one, which is M M1 or ME1, then let's see what, el what will happen. So let's go to M1. See, now I failed with this um, lumen or candela per square meter. So, or maintained average luminance, not lumen, sorry for that. So, the average luminance is failing. So, it depends on you, Malik, what kind of road is it. I will tell you that this ME means it is a class intended for users of motorized vehicles on traffic routes. In some countries, this class also applies to residential roads. Tra traffic spe speeds are medium to high, so the ME class goes uh, from ME1 to ME6 with ME1 defining the strictest requirements. So if your road project is in the under the stricted, strictest requirements, then you need to go for ME1. And then for wet road conditions, the MEW class go for MEW1 and MEW6. You can also see that in our website that we have uh, uh, see, uh, it's a wet road optic. So we also have a different optic for um, uh, wet roads. These wet roads are, of course, from the word wet roads. Like maybe it's always wet, like it's, there's always rain or the the type of material is different from that road or the, there are different countries that has this kind of roads which are of course wet <laughs> okay so yeah here in uh, UAE or in Dubai um, we always go for ME for yeah asphalt light asphalt and everything so um, but some consultants requires for other road classifications it depends so yeah, so we go for, we choose, I think we are done now. I think we solved your problem now, Malik. So, but make sure you selected the correct uh, road classifications before sending it to your client. So um, for your luminaires, you will have a 180 watt R2L2 and the spacing is 38 meters uh, distance from each pole. It's good for the budget of the municipality or for the uh, contractors side or uh, consultant sides and then I, I followed your uh, height requirements which is 12 meters and then I created a tilt of 5 degree and then uh, aside from that I added an emergency lane just to make uh, in reality that in a highway there's really an emergency lane and yeah, and we achieve all the requirements here based on the ME classif M, M for road classification. So if you have guys um, more questions about road lighting, please, uh, okay, if it's your project, just do it for yourself first. And then if you encounter something, just, then that's your time to ask me. Don't give me your project. <laughs> okay. Alright, so that's it and I hope you learned something today and goodbye.